And you're gonna see how this play here is a very easy one play touchdown. We get right over the top of the safety. There, it's a super easy one play touchdown against cover two zone. So now we're gonna compare that to how the cover two invert operates. Exact same setup. You're gonna see that these cornerbacks cover a lot better. No, nope. there's it's just not even open. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snow the Man. She's as always got another defense for you guys today. This is mostly a run defense, but it's also a very unique defense that has a lot of success against pass plays based on the fact that it doesn't really give up a lot of one-play touchdowns. Ultimately, though, this is something that has been one of my go-to run defenses for a couple of Mads now. I stopped using it a little bit this year because it's not in my favorite playbook this year. But ultimately, if you can make custom playbooks or something like that, this is still one of the best run defenses in the game. The playbook that I'm using is the Baltimore Ravens. Any defensive playbook, though, that has the four for split will contain this play it's a very common play if you watch this channel for a while now you probably remember me putting this out probably several years in a row i don't think i put it out this year i might have put it out in my top five rare defenses that are pretty good video Woo! whatever that one was i don't remember the title but that was probably the only time i really touched on this particular defense this year the play itself though is going to be the cover two invert like i said this particular play doesn't get a lot of one play touchdowns against if you do the set that i show you guys because it's a very unique defense to make this play work as good as possible you have to go to your coaching adjustments and you have to is that your zone drops to zero your flats to zero this is going to be basically the hard flat adjustment i'm going to show you guys uh, but this is going to be very helpful when it comes to stopping outside runs so we're going to go ahead, we're going to set that on the defensive side we're going to continue by picking the cover two invert and then on the offensive side we picked a good opponent we picked the titans one of the best running teams in the league we're just going to go ahead we're going to go random run plays now as always this video is brought to you by my corner sponsor aoh.com if you guys want to get your mud team up and support the channel at the same time all i have to do is check them out link in the description below use discount code money to get three percent off it's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins in the market other than that they also have a lot of products for a lot of other games so whatever game you're playing right now if you're not playing madden as much as you used to you play fifa rocket league they got products for all those different games nba 2k all that i had a discount so check them out link in the description below now as far as this play the setup could be easier uh, I'm gonna typically want to put this defender right here into a middle third that's about the only real adjustment I have to make in my secondary otherwise if you're gonna use this guy which a lot of times I do if I think my opponent's running if he's a very run heavy player I will put him on a blitz and I'll make him my user which will essentially give me like a nine-man box which is very helpful so that's something that you can do but if you're not very good at using and if you're worried about passing Putting them on a middle third is probably going to be the best way to go, just so that you basically fill that gap. Because these outside guys here, they'll essentially play the cover two uh, outside. But like most cover twos, they will be vulnerable up the middle. So having this guy into a, a middle third is probably the best way to go. Other than that, there's really only a few adjustments you have to make on the defensive front. You're just going to pinch your defensive line, which is going to be the D-pad to the left and down. Then you're going to spread your linebackers, which is going to be D-pad to the right and up on the uh on the left stick so that's gonna look something like that this is pretty much all you have to do in the past you had to do the keeping contains now you don't have to do that because it's already in the play the last step is going to be bringing up your coverage adjustments hitting wire triangle whether an xbox or playstation and then down on the right stick to put them on an underneath now you don't even really have to do that because we set our zone drops to zero so essentially this is something i do if you forget to set your zone drops this is something you have to do but based on the fact that my zone drops are set they can be in over the top they can be on a cloud flat they're still going to play to zero that's the whole point of setting it to zero and that zero is really what's going to keep them from cutting off any running backs on the outside and essentially forcing the play back up the middle so that's pretty much going to be the setup here then like i said i'm pretty much going to either use or this guy put him on a blitz just so i can have a little bit more control but in all reality since i know it's a run play like i said if you think it's a run play just use the safety you just have to be aware that if anybody is going deep middle that you have to get back and cut that off that's really the only uh caveat i pretty much do that all the time that's something that i'm used to i typically 
typically usually this guy. I'm sure when you see the gameplay footage of the beginning, that's what you'll see. But this is pretty much gonna be the play. You can see, number one, you can walk straight through that gap. This is a play where you can always shoot gaps. Now, if you really are expecting an outside run, like this here probably has a pretty good chance of being an outside run, you could always kick this defense up a notch. It's something that I don't necessarily uh, recommend, but you can always press your cornerbacks and basically bring these uh, these cornerbacks down, you know, right in front of the receivers. I mean, if somebody's coming out in like a you know three tight end package or something like that, you could always do that. I would say it would still make sense to walk this cornerback off the line a little bit. But you can see on the side here where there's two tight ends, there's really no added benefit to having that particular cornerback back. He's not going to get burnt by any uh, tight end, at least not in this particular. Uh, you know, I don't think there's anybody on this team that can do it. Maybe in Mutt, that might be an overpowered tight end. It might be worthwhile. But here, I'm not too concerned about that. So same thing. Going to do the setup the exact same way like i said i just come down like a, like an extra linebacker you can see we have so many guys in the box it's really gonna be difficult to run this ball and you're not gonna have a lot of success if it wasn't for the fact that derrick henry was a beast and he, he basically threw that first tackler off it would have been a loss so that's something that um you know obviously can help but like right here like i said if you're if you have an opponent running a lot this is not going to be a very successful look as i could just come right into that hole every single time hopefully i get some stretch plays though if i don't get some stretch plays here pretty soon i'm probably gonna have to uh to pick a stretch play but uh but this is pretty much the play i mean this is the look hopefully we get something where they run outside a little bit so i can show off these cloud flats but you can see the the guy didn't make the tackle but he did his job it's not these defenders jobs to necessarily make the play or they will make a lot of plays it's their job to get down to that zero and cut the play off so that you can't go to the edge that's basically the job of these outside linebackers and the reason they're in hard flats and really makes this defense so successful is that particular assignment so if you have a formation that looks like this, where you have uh, something that's like an obvious running formation, I mean, like I said, you can always press these cornerbacks. You can bring these guys down. I, I wouldn't necessarily want them right in their face, but they won't get burnt necessarily from a formation like this. They're spread out wide, maybe, but in a formation like this, not necessarily. So this is pretty much going to be our look. Like I said, this is as tightly packed a box as you could get. You're going to get a lot of containment. Your opponent's going to have a really hard time of getting outside of this. And it's a pretty solid pass defense too, because it's not your typical defense. If you're going to run this, and you're you're gonna you know you're thinking your opponent could pass from time to time. You're gonna want to go back to coaching adjustments. You're either gonna want to uh, take off these flats, just put it back to default, or you can just play sticks before the play, and that will essentially uh, return them to defaults. So now I'm gonna show you guys the difference in the cover two inverts uh, coverages compared to regular cover twos, because that's one of the things that makes this play so good. Is the pass defense is superior. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a play, which is a one play touchdown. I switched to offense now, but I'm gonna pick a one play touchdown against cover two, which is gonna be the PA post dig out of the. Why off very easy one play touchdown to set up on the defensive side like i said i'm going to start off with just a regular nickel tampa two set for this is very simple i'm going to motion this guy out put him on an out route smart route about 10 yards that's not really important i'm going to block the a route and you're going to see how this play here is a very easy one play touchdown to get right over the top of the safety splits the safety is pretty easy i mean he's got what like five to ten yards of separation there it's a super easy one play touchdown against cover two zone and all that really happens because of how the safeties react compared to how the cornerbacks react. Number one, I mean, cornerbacks are just better in coverage anyway, but number two, you can see the safety split. That's pretty much how this play works. They just don't really react the way that they will when I show you the cover to invert. But you can see the huge separation that this play gets. It's not even a difficult play to set up. So now we're going to compare that to how the cover to invert uh, operates, which we'll go ahead and we'll pick that again. Exact same setup, motion this guy out, put him on an out route block my uh, my tight end because I don't really know what he's doing there but this is pretty much going to be it you're going to see that these cornerbacks number one they cover a lot better and number two there's it's just not even open I mean it's something that maybe if I had a much faster receiver I could get past but these cornerbacks covering act almost like cover four quarters cornerbacks or something I'm going to do it one more time uh, but you can see this is the exact same play the exact same setup very different results as you see here i mean the cornerback on one side of the field is either going to get back in time to stop it or the cornerback that was following will follow him across either way this play does not work out now the big difference is obviously i could throw it to this underneath guy you know what i mean like if that's if that's not open you can see how this x route here is going to be open all day because that's the weakness of this defense but like i said one of the benefits is if you have somebody that's used to throwing one play touchdowns against cover two because there are so many i know i put out a lot this particular defense will react differently and it will not give them up so that's that's the play if you guys want to see more from this particular uh playbook you want to see more from this particular scheme hit the like button let me know in the comment section i could always put out more plays like blitzes and stuff like that at a later date other 
other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.